Thank you. Well, ladies and the rest of the party now. I think all our important guests have arrived. Hello? Can you tell me where I can find Madame Sebastian? Which one, sir? The new one. In the living room or the dining room, I believe. To your left. Thank you. Excuse me. Good evening. Hello, Deb. You haven't seen the house yet, have you? No, quite a nice little bungalow. Let me take you on a tour. Love to. How'd you get the key? Without a hitch. Good. Here comes old Eagle Eye. He watches you like a hawk. He's jealous of anyone that pays attention to me, especially you. Hello, Devlin. Congratulations. Thank you. It's nice of Alicia to invite me. We both invited you. I want all of Felicia's friends to be part of her new life. Lex, there is somebody I'd like you to meet. Will you excuse us? Sorry. It's not going to be easy. I know. Keep your fingers crossed the booze doesn't run out. We don't need him running down the wine cellar. Mm. Champagne, sir? Thank you. For you too, madam? No, I have a mineral water. Very well. Thanks. Hey, look who's here. What do you know? Uh, Isabella. Bravo, you remember. Good-looking men usually have such short memories. Oh, thank you. Something else I'm mad for. I think you're in good hands, Dev, so I'll see you later. Okay. You are in good hands. You trying to seduce me? <laughs> Absolutely. I might steal Mr. Devlin from you for a moment. There's news from the States that I need to catch up on. All right. But come back soon, dear. All right. Va bene, bella media, huh? See that your beloved's still watching? Mm -hmm. We better hurry. The champagne's running back. Do. Go out through the dining room to the garden on the right. Mm -hmm. There's a door that leads down to the cellar. I'll go down from the inside and meet you there. All right. You need another drink? No, I'm good. I do. <laughs> you startled me. Sorry. It's a lovely party, isn't it? It's a wonderful party. It wouldn't be so successful without you. You handled everything beautifully. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Is Devin bothering you? No, he's just trying to drown his sorrows. Good. Watch your steps. 
knocked over one of the bottles, but look at this. What is it? I don't know. Whatever it is, someone's going to an awful lot of trouble. We gotta leave everything the way we found it. Escape in the confusion. I'm not drunk, I'm scared. First time you did it for your country. Second. You better go upstairs, Joseph. They may need you. Yes, sir. Sorry to intrude on such a heartwarming moment. He's drunk, Alex. I couldn't stop him. He carried you down here. Oh, please, Alex. You're in love. No. Of course I'm not. Whatever it's worth, your wife's telling the truth. I fell in love with her before you did. This wasn't as lucky. Get out. I came down here because he threatened to make a scene if I didn't talk to him. He kissed you. And I tried to stop him. We'll discuss it later. Your guests are upstairs. Go join them. Can I get you a taxi, sir? No, thank you. I have my card. All right. We can't go down for the champagne now. Yes, sir. You know, Joseph, I've changed my mind. I don't think we need more champagne. No use letting them drink us out of our home.
Katie. Katie. Alex? What's wrong? You were right. I've made a terrible mistake. It makes sense. They picked her because of her father. I thought it was real. I thought she felt something for me. That's the least of our worries. Oh, God, I'm dead. We must think. Look what they did to Gerard. I know. I know. Rostinov has been waiting for something just like this. He'd love to take over. Alex, listen to me. They don't have to find out. They don't? No. For the time being, you are protected by the enormity of your ego. Rosnov may dislike you, but he wouldn't dream that you would be stupid enough to marry an American agent. What about Alicia? You wouldn't listen to me before. You must listen to me now. I will. I think Alicia is about to become ill. Drink your coffee, my darling. You're letting it get cold. You going out this afternoon? I have some paperwork, but I'm going riding this morning. Would you like to come? If you don't mind, I thought I would go to a museum. Fine. Enjoy yourself. You all right? Yeah, I have a headache. What are you doing here? Well, you can be very proud of yourself, Mrs. Sebastian. Don't call me that. Sorry. But in any case, there was something in those wine bottles. What? A chemical compound. And? Come on. I want to know what I'm going through all this for. What? Well, the technical name is Beast 2 Chloral Ethyl Sulfide. On the street, it's known as Dusty Mustard. Dusty Mustard. <laughs> Well, it doesn't sound very serious. No, I can assure you it's serious. Yeah? It's a compound used in the manufacture of chemical warheads. It's terrifying because it can penetrate gas masks. So what do I do now? Keep your ears open. We want to know where the stuff is manufactured and where it goes. All right. And another thing. You'll be having a new contact. Devlin's been reassigned. What? When? Two weeks, thereabouts. Does he, does, does he know about this? Oh, yes. He requested it. He did? Uh-huh. Why? Said he was feeling stale, wanted a little more action. <laughs> okay, I see. He wanted some more action. That's right. Are you sure you're feeling okay? I have a headache. I'm fine. Alicia. You've done a hell of a job for us. I mean it. I know. Take care. <laughs> it's true. More coffee, General? <laughs> Thank you. What's wrong? I don't know. She feels dizzy. I'll be okay. I, I think I'll just slide down. So late. So I ain't give me a chance to catch up on my reading. I couldn't get away any sooner. 
So has domestic tranquility been restored? Alex has been very sweet. Good. Any news about the wine business? Yesterday, a LeBlanc's truck delivered several dozen cases of wine. LeBlanc's the tobacconist? Yeah. Sure. I'm positive. It's interesting. You know, you don't look so good. Yeah, I was hoping that the fresh air would help. You sick? Well, I... Huh? Are you hungover? I have... What? Are you hungover? You are, aren't you? Should have known. Yeah, well, yeah. you know me. Yeah, big night last night? Just the usual suspect. Very funny. Yeah, it's a last a minute. All right, look, you want to be this way, that's fine. Just take it easy, because you look like hell. Thank you. You're so charming sometimes. So you have anything you feel like telling me? Oh, by the way, I had, I have something for you. What's this? It's a scarf you lent me once. Out with the old, in with the new, huh? Yeah, something like that, something like that. Well, goodbye, Dev. Oh, don't sound so final. I'll see you next week. Sure. <laughs> well, I guess the fresh air isn't as good for a hangover as I thought it was. Here, come here, sit down. No, I don't want to. Come here, where are you going? I'm going home. The only home I've got, anyway. You are not taking care of yourself, Alicia. I feel better. Forgive me, but you are not well. Have you seen a doctor? It's just a flu it'll pass. Well, I'm no doctor, but... She's just exhausted. From the excitement, the wedding, the party and all. Maybe a cruise would help. Some place warm and sunny. Put the color back in your cheeks. I don't think so. I don't like boats. We could go together. If you can bear to tear yourself away from Alex for a while. No, no, I get seasick. Alex, look at her. Alicia needs bed rest. Well, you know best. And things will calm down after next Friday. What's General, happening? would you care for another brandy? No, thank next you, Alex. Friday. I never have more than one drink. It's my only failure as a Russian. I just finished my coffee. But no, no, that's Alicia. not your cup. Oh, I'm sorry. When I return next, Perhaps we'll all go to the springs at Monte Catini together. Excuse me. I'm gonna go in my room. Of course, my darling. I'm sorry. Don't be silly. Let me take you to your room. No. Maybe some aspirin. I'll be okay. Get it, Blanco. Yes. Where does it hurt, Alicia? We must get to doctor. She's suffering, Alex. You're right, Nicolai. I'll call one right away. Joseph, disconnect the telephone and take it out. I don't want Mrs. Sebastian disturbed.
She must have complete quiet. We'll let you sleep now, darling. But we'll... We'll be right downstairs. Five days, huh? She must be on quite a binge. No, I don't think so. I think something's wrong. Oh, come on, Dev. You said yourself she was hungover when you saw her last week. Right. Mm -hmm. I've had time to think about it. Think about what? About her drinking. I just don't believe it. Look, she was straight until I told her what the assignment was. She was sober at the party. She drank mineral water all night. Well, why would she tell you she was hungover? She wasn't. Doesn't make sense. I know. I don't know why she'd do that, but I'm telling you that she wasn't drunk. She was sick. She looked terrible. Hangover. No, because I've seen her when she was drunk. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to visit the Sebastians as a friend of the family. Out of the question. Now, come on, Norman. I'm not in Rio yet. She's my agent. I'm still responsible. No. Alicia's resourceful. If she needs us, she'll contact Norman, us. Norman, I'm telling you that there is... Forget it. Forget it. I can't risk blowing her cover. She may be your agent, but this is my operation, and I'm not going to risk it. Wine's good. Have some. Yes, sir. Would you mind telling Mr. Sebastian that Mr. Devlin is here? I'm very sorry, but Mr. Sebastian has asked not to be disturbed. Asleep? No, sir. Business. Oh. Mrs. Sebastian here? Yes, sir. Would you mind telling her? I'm afraid I can't. Why not? Mrs. Sebastian's ill. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Has she been ill for long? A week or two. Has she seen a doctor? If you'll wait here, Mr. Devon, and I'll check with Mr. Sebastian. Thank you, Joseph. Excuse me, sir. What is it, Joseph? Mr. Devlin is here to see you, sir. What does he want? Tell him I'll be through in a few minutes. Very well, sir. Mr. Sebastian will be a few minutes. Can I offer you something? Sure, I'll have some tea.
Mr. Devlin? I'm taking her to the hospital to get the poison out of her. Poison? Yes. Why don't you like your friends downstairs to find out? Hmm? But you haven't told them, have you? Marrying an American mm. agent might be bad for business, don't you think? Alex? I'm taking her back. <laughs> no, Dad! What is happening, Alex? Alex! Do something, Alex. Mr. Sebastian's feeling much worse. Where are you taking her? To the hospital. Why is he taking her? Don't try anything. There's going to be a lot of excitement around here. I don't feel well. No, that's right, darling. Come on. Here we go. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Just walk. Alex, is something wrong? You remember your friend Gerhard? 